Some children from South Sudan, who are at the UN Climate Change Conference in Baku, spoke to Reuters news agency about how climate change has affected their lives. As she walked through some of the pavilions at COP29, 14-year-old Naomi said excessive heat waves in South Sudan have forced school children to stay home. Yes, I was out of school. Let me say all the children who were in schools were out of school for two weeks. And this really affected me because this year I'm sitting for my national exams. Yeah, This is my last year in secondary school. And it really affected me because being in the last class or being a candidate, you have to be determined to do other things like to focus on your studies and also get more time by the end of the year for personal and self-studies. And due to the heat waves, we were at home like for two weeks. We were not able to concentrate because it was hot. The temperatures were really high. You have to focus more on reducing the temperatures of your body. Naomi says she's frightened about what lies ahead for her South Sudan village. I'm really worried about the future because we have been coming. Last year I came for COP and this year I'm here for COP. And still we are not seeing much changes, especially in South Sudan. A 17-year-old South Sudanese teenager named Siami at COP29 says she too had to stay home from school during a lengthy heat wave. As the heat wave started, actually it, we were in school actually and our country, you know, it's a developing country. So we do not have actually kind of resilient buildings to climate change and we don't have ACs in school mostly because most of the schools are private schools, let's say, and there's lack of funding. So when uh, the heat wave started, we had to go back home. The schools were all closed in the country, not in a particular state. So we had to go home and going back home, there you have to stay with your parents. The aid group saved the children arranged for three South Sudanese children to be at the climate summit. Heat waves and floods have shattered most schools in South Sudan at different times this year. Children attending the climate change summit are pushing world leaders to protect their education and their futures by agreeing to lower greenhouse gas emissions and providing money to poor nations like South Sudan to combat climate change.